morning, folks. For once, I actually don't have all that much to say this morning, but uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in my life right now. I'm still working on porting the casino games for work over to Blackberry, so that's very exciting. I'm almost done the first one, so yay! Uh, I'm still hoping to, to uh, find some time tonight to work on uh, texturing the 3D model that I'm using for practice. So I, I don't think I'll be able to do all the texturing in one night, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a little done, and that's really about it. So yeah. So I'm just going to pass you on over to Annie and see what she's up to. I'm going to guess cats, because that's usually what it is with us. Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thanks, cat. She's been sitting on me for like 20 minutes. I think she knows I'm not feeling so great today. She's not feeling so great today either, aren't you? She threw up all over the bedroom. I had to clean it. Yeah. Oh, thanks for your butt in my face. That's lovely. Do you want to turn around? What are you even playing with? <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't have to go away. Oh. Hello? Thank you. I guess it's because she threw up today, but I think she's a bit hungry. Oh, but she's also been a bit of a bad girl. Oh, Belle. <laughs> she's been... Oh my gosh, Belle, sit still. I'm trying to focus on you. She's been a bit of a bad girl today because she's been trying to get into things that she shouldn't to get my attention. And I feel really, really bad because I know she's hungry because she threw up. But I don't want to feed her and not fiddlesticks. So when I first... Oh gosh, Belle. When I first got Belle, my parents gave me these snack things. They gave me these snack things and I haven't really used them because, you know, we didn't really feed Belle a lot of treats. She still knows what they are. But then we got fiddlesticks and we felt extra bad about giving her treats because, you know, fiddlesticks can't, can't really take part. So I think maybe I'll just give her some treats to get her off my back until Clement gets home and we can feed both of them. And oh my gosh, cat, calm all six of your tits. All right, kitty. No, no, you can't be on my lap while I have the bag on my lap. Oh my God. No, ow. If you're gonna scratch me, you're not getting anything. Good girl. Now I'm like, but if I give her treats, she'll think that bum rushing me for food is okay. But I want her off my back and I feel really bad because she has a really good way of making you feel guilty because she has such a sweet voice. And I stepped on her foot too and I felt extra bad because even after I stepped on her foot she was like, It's okay, I still love you. Look. Yay. I wonder if I can get her to sit. Sit. Bell. No, they're over here. I didn't throw them. <laughs> Are they over here? No. You're so dumb. Okay. No, no, no. Good girl. One more. Good girl. That's it. All gone. Oh my gosh, Belle. Calm down. You're gonna make yourself sick again. Yeah, I figured my camera wouldn't do quite as good a job of it, but the river is really, really pretty right now, in person. I mean, it's okay on camera, but I wish you guys could be here to see this. The light is shining off of the river really, like, nicely. It's shining off the ice, and there's all these patterns that people have put in the snow by walking on the river, which I'm never brave enough to do, because if you fall through the ice, you're dead. Barring that, it's really fun walking on the ice. <laughs> If you're willing to risk your life over it. I mean, when it's this cold, it, you're not really risking anything, but I still value my life enough not to try anyway. When we were at Winterlude and I walked on the Rito Canal, that was about as close as I planned to get. Anyway, I'm like not staying on topic at all. River's pretty. Wish you guys could see it. I... I do not understand how I did this. Um... <laughs> uh... 
I hit the delete key and then I got more L's than anyone should ever have. Ah, I wish Kamal was here. <laughs> Why do I Photoshop things into our shows? Uh, nope. No. What? Ugh. Hi. Hi. I think I found the world's smallest garlic clove. It's adorable. It's so tiny. I know. It was hidden in amongst all the papery bits. Yep. <laughs> you working on Moto G? Yeah, I'm working on my modeling practice. Whoop. Yeah, so what I'm doing today is I'm doing the preliminary steps for uh, texturing him so that he's not just all a flat color anymore. For those of you who don't know, before you can draw a texture, for a model, you have to do something called unwrapping, which is basically just peeling the model apart and putting it on, on a flat surface so that you can paint over it. So uh, what I've been working on so far tonight is putting seams in Moto G, which sounds really unpleasant, and they just had to make them red. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the, the red seams. I've been putting them in places so that, like, for example, you look at the arm here. I cut out around there and I put a seam up where it would be in the actual clothes so that when I lay it out on a flat surface it'll be more box shaped and I can just draw what the sleeve should look like. This is my first time, at least in recent memory, uh, marking seams like this so I'm not sure how it, well it's gonna work. I'm going to give it a shot. So this is where the the texture should appear after I unwrap it so moment of truth and, huh, ta-da! I'll probably redo some of them, like you look at this, this has a lot of like distortion and pinching and that kind of thing, and then paint them up. Okay, there we go, so you can see how this flat texture is being laid on out onto him, and uh, while there's a lot of stuff I have to fix there, it's pretty good for a first attempt, but yeah, you can see here there's like a lot of um, areas where it's distorted. Ideally you want things to look straight and like an even grid and that kind of thing and try to have the squares be A square shaped and then be evenly sized throughout the model. But yeah, I think I did okay for a first try. I was just watching a uh, Fine Brothers Kids React video and they were reacting to the multi-language version of Let It Go and right the, at the, the end... The song from Frozen for those of you who oh, don't know yeah, what she's referring right. to. Right. <laughs> and apparently there's a Canadian French version of it. Like, I guess if we gone to see it in theaters here, like we would have seen, yeah. seen that version. And it's different from like the general French version of it. Yeah. Well, uh, that's pretty common actually among translation people to uh, have a French version and a Canadian French version. Like when we're... Uh, but it's the same language. But there's like different phrasing and that kind of thing. Uh, Is there? Yeah. Really? And different accents, that sort of thing. Okay, well, there are different English accents, but I'm pretty sure that there wasn't a British English version. Even, like, when we're local localizing apps at work and that kind of thing, there's a French and Canadian French. That's really weird. Yeah. I just find that weird. One more way where they try to, like, rope Canadians off from the entertainment district and make them feel like they're on an island by themselves. Oh, sure. Just look at it the pessimistic way, why don't you? Ah, uh, if you were in the, in the film history class, you would have seen it the pessimistic way, yeah, too. Yeah. Do you guys remember the other day when I accidentally made the green tea coffee mixture? I did it again. Um, I was gonna make some, like, hot lemon citron knockoff thing. Um, and I forgot the coffee thing was still in there. I hope we're able to get to sleep. Mm. You look so relaxed. You're so gross and wet. You're just <laughs> drooling down your chin all the time. We should say goodnight now. My phone's about to run out of battery. Yeah, and it's getting late. We should pack up and head into bed. So I'm glad that I got to do a little more work. Unfortunately, it didn't actually save, so I'm gonna have to redo all of that. I'll just consider it a practice run, and I have a little bit of a better idea what I'm doing now anyway, so, you know, count your blessings or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're counting your blessings. Look at that lovey face. You can't count, you're a cat. <laughs> He's like, one, G, M, 10, 
I love you. <laughs> I'm jealous of cats, that, or at least domesticated cats. It's like their whole purpose in life is just to receive love. And I've known a lot of cats, but you're probably the sweetest and most loving cat I've ever known. There's other cats who are... Bell's listening. She's more playful and fun. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching. We we'll hope that you guys will keep on watching, and uh, if you've got anything that you'd like to say to us, we absolutely love reading your comments, so be fe uh, feel free to leave a friendly little comment down, down there, and we will be sure to reply to you, and yeah, give the video a like because that makes us smile, and now that I'm done plugging us, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We love you guys. Aw, oh, yay. And I'm gonna go pee. Good night, guys. You guys, Fiddlesticks is such a wimp, he got scared by Clement's phone buzzing and left part of his claw behind. He like jumped off of me so fast that like the outer layer of his claw ripped off. Poor thing, he's such a wimp. <laughs> yeah, my, my phone was here and I was reaching to get it and he didn't know it was buzzing so he's like trying to back up <laughs> off the couch. You are a wimp, I'm sorry. Did my phone make a scary buzz? Why are you hiding? It's okay, it's just a phone. Okay, good night for real, guys. Bye.